I'm so heartbroken. <laughs> my last little while, I went in there. Lying. Don't wait. touch me, you demon. Um, yes, I have actually. Uh, I have thought of going into production for myself, probably, you know, doing a remake of a film that was very iconic when I was growing up. Um, but I haven't actually, I haven't actually begun yet. Um, you know, still doing my acting. <laughs> Is everything okay? Um, yes, yes. No, I wasn't because um, it was it was a character that was understood, you know, uh, that was explained. So um, all I had to do was just get into that the process of becoming that that character. And I mean, I understood. I understand that and say did an amazing job in the film. Um, I just wanted to be able to do the work so that I could, you know, um, I could do the best that she did. Uh, none whatsoever, actually. <laughs> this is this is the thing. Um, I'm, uh, I think I'm more, I'm a more practical person. I am more um, of a of a realist in the sense that I deal with situations the way they come. You know, I I think Kate is more of Kate is a woman who tries to hide her head in the sand. You know, like trying to run away from the reality of stuff. But that's not me. <laughs> Yes, I dislike the fact that she doesn't uh, pay attention to her husband because um, um, Kira, as the person, is very, very relationship-oriented, you know, um, and in, for anyone, I, I feel like you need to pay attention to the people that you have in your life. So, um, so that's something that I don't like about the character. Um, but I like the fact that she's, uh, she's a disciplinarian. She's very strict with... Um, bringing her child up even though it seems like it's not really working at the point at this point because you know her daughter is a teenager but yeah i like that part of Kate. i cannot be sick and still carry the burden of this family you don't want to kill me or what challenges challenges um I had to get into the mindset of a person who is suffering a terminal uh, disease and it's uh, it's something that messes with your mind because you you have to believe it in, 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 in order to convince other people and then when you're living in a state of mind where you think that you have a disease that's going to kill you it takes a toll on you emotionally so yeah that that was that was a little challenging for me but I mean I, I love a challenge it's, it's what I live for it's my job. My most memorable experience on set, there are quite a, a few, um, but I think that it would be, um, it would be the, I think it would be the, the, the moment where we filmed a, a very, very emotional and intense scene. I think, I think the, the moment where we filmed the very high point of, of um, Kate's, uh, characterization in 50 this years. I think that was a very mo memorable moment for me because it was it was really iconic. It was it was something that left um, people it it, it left a, an amazing aura in the room afterwards. So yeah, I think that's something that I will I will hold on to for a while. Um, I think that we are we are getting better generally. I mean, Nollywood is getting better. The telev television business is getting better. They're doing more stories that, you know, look better now. And I think that because we are basically living in a global village right now, with the with the you know internet connecting us, so we 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 get to reach out to a lot more people. And so our work has our work has to be um, authentic, has to be better now. So the quality of productions are getting better. So I think that's the reason why TV is making a huge comeback in Nigeria.
my greatest fear as an actress is that um, people would assume that I'm the, the characters that I play on screen. Um, there are places in the world where people understand that actors are just actors, you know, but in Nigeria it's kind of different. I guess it's because of our cultural, you know, background. When he pushed me to the wall, I buried it all in the sand. But when he went further down the line, I stood strong and ready to fight. Absolutely, that happens all the time. You know, I get people uh, calling me prayer warrior when they see me in, 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 like maybe if I go out to the mall or something. It's like, oh, peace, peace, prayer warrior, you know, pastor's wife or, or pastor, as, as, as they call me, as in, you know, because I was the godly one in, this, in the series, in the show. So, yeah, I mean, it happens, it happens that people can, you know, can actually think that the character you play is you because, you know, they, they believe it so much. Um, actually, there was a time when I was going to join the AGN, this was a few years ago, uh, but I really don't know what happened because I attended a couple of meetings, but there was a lot of confusion and two of the meetings that I attended, there was, I think they had some arguments and stuff, so it just felt like there wasn't really much of a structure at the time, so I, you know, just gave up on the idea of, of, of it, because I wasn't sure if it was a real thing or not at the time, but, um, I mean, now if it's, if it's, um, if something that has been set up, obviously, it would be beneficial to to join the acting guild, you know, to actors guild, because I mean that's something that is supposed to protect actors as well. But only if the structure has been properly put in place. I still have your ring, my friend. I suggest you bring up whatever magic you can right now. This ring signifies our commitment to each other. For me, a great film is a film that can leave the viewers, that can, that can leave the, the people being entertained with something much more profound than just um, two hours of entertainment. Like, for me, a great film is something that affects you on a deeper level uh, um, that speaks to your emotion. If you come out of, of seeing a film that has touched you beyond, oh, I, I spent a good two hours, then I think that that's, that's an iconic film to me. Hmm, the greatest movie I've ever seen. I usually just look at stories as opposed to the package. You know, some people might, um, talk about blockbuster movies you know with heroes and aliens but I think for me it's more I'm more of a story kind of girl so I think for me the greatest film I've probably ever seen would be The Notebook. There are a lot of great films but I think for me is is one that starred Liz Benson Ameye right um, that's the one I talked about the last time I was here I think um, Violated was it? No, it wasn't that one. No, it wasn't that one. Um, it was a film. It was a film that starred Liz Benson, and she was, she came back as a as a Punisher because you know there are people. It was a it was an epic film that um, about a bunch of m young men who were uh, pillaging in the village and just raping women and you know all kinds of crazy things. So she came back as a Punisher. You know, and it was it was done so. I mean, it, it, obviously, it was a story about cultural things, but it was done so well, and I still remember it. But I don't remember the title, unfortunately. Yeah, I try to I try to go to the cinema maybe uh, once in a couple of weeks because you know I really don't have that much time. But I try, and if there's a if there's a really great film in the cinema that I want to see, I you know I try to make time. I have a couple of uh, projects that are scheduled for me to start filming uh, in, in a couple of weeks and in the months to come. Um, one, of, one of those is a sci-fi film, which I'm really excited about. Uh, can't really give too much away, but um, it's, it's, it's looking like it's going to be a little dramatic. Um, also, I 
completed filming on a romantic comedy titled Rule Number One. Um, stars myself, stars Chinon So Young and Bucci Franklin, and it is, it's, uh, it's juicy, it's yummy, it's beautiful, and I can't wait for people to see it. So yes, and then I have you know fifty showing every Thursday. Here's my here's my take. I I, I think that is it's. it's it's wrong to assume that people are just stuck on comedy. The reason why it seems that they're stuck on comedy is because um, it's a tried and tested road that has worked. So producers are playing safe and sticking to it, which is which is great. You understand? Now, if other genre of of you know films or stories don't really catch Nigerians, it's probably because the the story at the core of the story itself is not tight enough but i mean it's the same production quality that we used to do all the other films so um the only difference is what is the content of the film so um i think that uh i i think that we're playing it safe basically with with the comedy i, I I'm, I'm sure that nigerians can appreciate a, a wider range of storylines if they're done properly Yeah, of course. Um, to be fair to the producers who um, push these big these big films, they they were able to find their budgets or their connections or however they were able to push. You know, um, it's. I wish that there were there was a structure that could help. Um, you know, indie producers who are doing who are trying to do um, you know eclectic things because there there are stories. We do have stories, and I think that after a while, um, people are gonna. Well, I, I speak for my Nigerians. We're probably gonna get tired of um, seeing just the dramatics and the comedy and the love story. Like we want to you know explore other avenues. You know, there's so many um, generic stories. Um, in in just look around you there's so so much happening around in your neighborhood stories things that can translate to you know unbelievable stories that ah, did this really happen but we can't really tell those stories because of the uh, the um the ability to find the budget or the money to actually push it out there i mean it's expensive to put your trailer on a on a you know on a billboard it's expensive to put your poster out there but these are the avenues that will get the you know the guy on the street to see it and say oh I want to go and you know watch this film in the cinema it's just about you know budgeting and I um just to round this up I wish that there was you know a, a structure that could help that could actually um help fund um the the legitimate producers on an equal platform come to church with me love the things of God but no you've been jumping from one place to another looking for the next get rich quick scheme Hi guys, my name is Kira Hiwatch and you are watching Pulse TV.